parents in Reigate have come up with their own plan to save a primary school in Priory Park. The council says that repairs would cost too much and wants to move pupils elsewhere. Let's take you to Reigate now. Our reporter Claire Cowan can tell us what's happening on this chilly Wednesday morning. Hello, Claire. Yeah, I've just about thawed out, James. Thank you very much. Uh, after a very chilly start this morning, I know it's cold because I've had to defrost two cars already this morning. Uh, my own one to get to work and then the work one to come here to Rygate. Busy on the M25 this morning and the A217 if you're out and about in this area. Um, but I've come into the warm now, had a cup of coffee, um, and I am with Richard Oldham, whose daughter uh, goes to a local school here in Rygate, Holmesdale Community Infant Junior School. But uh, Richard and his wife are are applying for junior school places for September for their daughter and uh, this battle over this school officially known as Rygate Priory Junior School um, parents thought they'd won this battle last year but this is round two so I'm told so let's find out uh, what's going on and Richard is with me now so you'd like your daughter to go to Rygate Priory Junior School in September wouldn't you? That's right um, we're located in the in the north area of Rygate near, near Rygate Station and uh, the school that my daughter's at at the moment uh, is one of the two schools that feed into Priory, um, Priory School, uh, Rygate Priory School in Priory Park. Uh, it's a perfect location. It's easy to walk to. It's a school that is, is well-loved and has a, a great reputation. It's offset outstanding. So, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the reasons that we moved to, um, to Rygate in the first place, to have that option. But the uh, building is... In- well, explain what's wrong with the building, because <laughs> that all sounds ideal. It does. The um, th- so the, the school is located in a um, historic historic building. Part of it is is thirteenth century, which is very lovely. The class and the teachers, the head teacher, will refer to it as Hogwarts. It has a very special character to it. But that's 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 sort of part and parcel of the um, of the of, of the of, of the school's sort of proposition. Um, the problem with it, with the building, is that it's uh, now falling into disrepair. It hasn't been well maintained uh, by Surrey County Council over the years, and it's got to the stage now where Surrey County Council and uh, the DfE have said that the school has to move out of, of that site and move to another location. But you don't want that to happen. You've come up with an alternative suggestion. What would you like to see happen? Well, the the, the option that's being presented is um, to the south of Rygate. It's a long way away from where the catchment area for, um, for Priory Park, for Priory School, is currently. Uh, the route to get to the new location is up um, a, uh, an A road. It's the A217. It's the main artery that runs from the M25 down through Rygate and off to towards Gatwick. Um, there's al- already... 10, 12 years ago being one fatality, child fatality on that stretch of, uh, of road. It's really not designed or capable of carrying the amount of pedestrians that would be added uh, if, the, uh, if the school was to move there. And people were, were to, to, to try to, to get there on, on foot. Um, there are let's talk about this the, the, insights as well. Yeah, we'll talk about those in a second. Let's just let's make it clearer that you're talking about Surrey Council, Surrey County Council's posh new headquarters. We're calling it at Woodhatch Place. So mm-hmm. their suggestion is because the priory isn't future proofed, as they say, repairs will cost too much. Pupils would go to neighbouring schools or their new headquarters at Woodhatch Place. And and you've just listed your concerns about about using that. Yeah, the consultation that Surrey County Council are running at the moment essentially um, is asking for Rygate residents to give the point of view on two options. One is to support the move of the of Rygate Priory Junior School to Woodhatch Place. Uh, the other option is to hold a working a working party, a working group to review the the primary school provision, the the options for primary schools in. Um, in Rygate, and at the same time, um, they'll they'll progress the um, the planning application for for Woodhatch Place for moving the school to Woodhatch Place. Now, to us, that feels like uh, tails we lose, heads they heads they win. It doesn't feel like a, like a true representation of the of the options. So, what would you like to see happen? From our own work, and there's a local architect who's been involved in this. Uh, we know, we believe. 
uh, and, and Rygate and Banstead Borough Council have, have given support to this, that there is an option to redevelop the original site. Rygate and Banstead have now said that they would be happy for the Victorian part to the rear of the building to be redeveloped in some way. Uh, for a right of way that runs through the middle of the site to be to be moved, which would enable a much bigger school to be provided on the same site, which has all of the benefits of um, of the existing site and a shiny new school as well. So, for people listening to this, they think, "Oh, well, that's an interesting option." How do they have mm. they say? How do they get in touch? The consultation is running um, on the Surrey County Council website and also on um, the Surrey Says website. Uh, we would absolutely urge anybody, any 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 Rygate residents, because this is a, a whole Rygate issue. It's not just to do with parents of pupils at the school or prospective parents. We would urge everybody to go on to that consultation, choose option two, not option one, choose option two, and give your own reasons for why you believe that the school should stay where it is at the moment, why Surrey County Council should look at the uh, the, the hybrid proposal and um, and get and give your feedback. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Richard. So Surrey County Council, James, saying it wants a sustainable, inclusive educational offer that meets the pupils' needs in the near and long-term future, and it wants views on its options. And as Richard said, that consultation running until the 21st of January.